A huge security operation involving 1,000 police will swing into force in Pakistan today as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrive on a five-day visit. They have been sent on the first high-profile royal visit for 13 years to the country which wants to dispel its image as a terrorist haven. But a royal spokesman described the trip as the most complex tour undertaken by the Duke and Duchess to date, given the logistical and security considerations. The last senior members of the royal family to visit Pakistan were Prince Charles and Camilla in 2006 when, according to diplomats, the country was less safe than now. In the ensuing years it was engulfed by terrorism, as the Pakistani Taliban took control of parts of the north and extremists carried out assassinations and suicide attacks. In 2008 a truck bomb killed 54 people at the Marriott Hotel in Islamabad, where royal aides had met British journalists covering Charles and Camilla's trip two years earlier. The latest trip is designed to highlight Britain's links with Pakistan and support efforts to tackle Islamic fundamentalism. William and Kate, both 37, want to highlight the close cultural ties between the two countries as more than 1.5 million people in Britain have Pakistani heritage. Earlier this month a senior royal aide said, What happens in Pakistan matters on the streets of the UK. It's one of the most important relationships that the UK has. Prince William, reason for attending St Andrews revealed. Play video. In a statement, Christian Jones, the couple's communications secretary, added, whilst the Duke and Duchess's program will pay respect to the historical relationship between Britain and Pakistan, it will largely focus on showcasing Pakistan as it is today, a dynamic, aspirational and forward-looking nation. But the country has been previously accused of playing a double game. It supported the U.S. war on terror in 2001 but helped create the Taliban in neighboring Afghanistan. They also trained al-Qaeda militants fighting with Osama bin Laden. He was discovered hiding in a compound in Abbottabad, a city 75 miles north of the capital Islamabad. The royal couple want to support Pakistan's role in combating terrorism and promote it again as a tourism destination. They will visit Lahore, the mountains in the northern regions bordering Afghanistan. But the precise locations will not be made public until the day of visits for security reasons. A royal source said, they are keen to put Pakistan back on the map as a country that is now much safer than many people think. William and Kate will also meet Oxford-educated Prime Minister and former cricketer Imran Khan and President Arif Alvi. The Duke has known Imran, 67, for most of his life. His mother Diana visited him in Lahore in 1996 and 1997, to help raise funds for a cancer center. William is also expected to honor his mother's humanitarian work. Imran agreed to act as a go-between for Diana in her two-year romance with the heart and lung surgeon Hasna Khan, a distant cousin. In 2000, he said he believed Diana's romance with Dadi Fate had been designed to make the surgeon jealous. He said, she had wanted to marry him. It was clear that she was very deeply in love with Dr. Hasnod and I just don't think she could have got over it that quickly. A senior source said that while advanced security checks were normal, the involvement of the armed police team was an acknowledgement that Pakistan is a potential flashpoint. The source added, there are simply so many people and so many opportunities for things to go wrong. There is particular concern at the potential threat posed by extremists hiding in the huge crowds greeting the couple. Taliban and his suicide bombers have previously managed to evade tight security and kill or maim political leaders in Pakistan, including its former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto who was murdered by a suicide bomber in 2007. Destinations during the tour are being kept a closely guarded secret but they are likely to include areas that the Foreign Office advises British citizens not to visit on safety grounds. The ring of steel around the Duke and Duchess is similar to the one imposed when the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall visited Pakistan in 2006. On the tour, an anti-Western backlash against the killing of 80 suspected Islamic militants forced the cancellation of a planned visit to the northern city of Peshawar. Kensington Palace declined to comment last night.